this celebration. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I heard that the dress rehearsal was uh, great fun and this is going to be even better. So I'm glad you're here. Thanks to everybody who's participating and has come from some distance to be part of this, this wonderful afternoon. I'm going to tell you a couple things about uh, Roland that I know personally, a couple things that I know sort of from uh, afar. One of the things I know, of course, is that he was a fantastic teacher, a great pedagogue, wonderful singer, great conductor. He was here for 25 years, influencing hundreds of students, maybe thousands of students in his time here. What an incredible thing to do. I also was looking at his whole life, imagining that uh, by all things that I could have come up with, all the measures I could invent, his life was just really special and beautiful. Uh, he taught in public schools, he was obviously in love with music, he had a great job here for 25 years. Once you're part of this family, you sort of stay part of this family, and I think he was a big part of it for a long time. Uh, I didn't realize until uh, this ceremony was going to happen that he was in fact an artist as well. I can't believe I didn't know that, but of course there's one of his pastels and on the website. There's several other paintings of his, and they're really beautiful. I just asked Fruits so if we could maybe get one from her to hang up in the, in the lobby somewhere, um, have Roland's presence there as well. But I'm going to tell you a few personal things about Roland because that's the sort of fun of this, right? And so I'm going to give you my history with him so that you can sort of do this in chronological order. Uh, I was teaching here in 1978 as a sabbatical placement. I went with uh, Larry Dobler. Uh, we, we were roommates. And I remember seeing Roland uh, around the building in the hallways and meetings. And I was the, truly the newest kid on the block. I was brand new. I was pretty young. Uh, and he would come by and ask me once in a while, how are you doing? Is, is it going okay? And he would sometimes give me tips about other people that were in the building. And I thought, why is this man being nice to me? I'm like the total rookie here. And uh, he went out of his way to help me out. And I would also say that you don't know, you need some people in life that have a knack for saying the right thing at the right time. There were moments when I was crazily busy or running around. And I knew that other people were busy and he was a little busy. But he would always say when I saw him say just the right thing to make me relax make me calm down, make me see the reality of what we were doing, and maybe perhaps even make me focus on what my, my job was here. That was pretty special. I'm not sure what the real definition of a self-actualized person is, but I would think that Roland was, was, was like that. He was one of those people that seemed to be full. Uh, he, he was always, in my opinion, in good mood. He was always full of spirit. He was always full of love. Uh, he was always full of uh, unselfishness and help for other people. It seemed like a really quite amazing spirit. I'm going to tell you a few other things about Roland, which are a little private, but you'll be okay with this. Uh, for those of you that, that uh, knew him well or saw him around the building, after I got to know him in that first year, I would tease him about something that I, I thought was kind of, I don't know, touchy, but he took it well. In my opinion, he wore his pants too high. <laughs> Surface. 
um, he had kind of a uh, funny smile. He would uh, make jokes and kind of do this kind of wry smile thing at the right moments. And it was like this little kid, and he was very joyous about it. He would come up with, with lines and things behind people's back. It was just really <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, So what a guy. He had a beautiful, beautiful guy. Great, uh, great life as far as I can tell. We're here to celebrate him. The fact that you're all back here is a, is a testament to his uh, excellence and his meaning in your lives as well. So we're going to hear from uh, Prudence, who's going to come out next, and uh, Reverend Rob Bolter as well. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for coming. Uh, enjoy the day.